Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. A little while ago I made a uh, video about this OTC drain plug removal tool. A real simple design, basically it's got kind of a captive set of walls for a hex bolt and then a neodymium magnet on a flexible shaft and a little handle. Um, this thing is just so nice to use. Once you crack a, say, a, a drain plug bolt free, you just drop this on and you can spin it out. It'll drop down into your oil uh, collection container or you can pull it out. You can do oil, you know, even if it's uh, quite hot, you know, from a previously run engine. Um, it just makes life easier. Doesn't have, you don't have to dig it out of the bottom of your oil pan. But anyway, this was um, a little over 20 bucks on Amazon. It was one of the more expensive ones, or the most expensive. Looked like the best built one. You know, it's not really something you can use as a flexible driver. Um, but this guy here was the cheapest. And this one, made in China here, um, was when I got it, it was nine bucks. Now it's down to six bucks. But let's compare it. So basically, you've got that flexible shaft, you've got a neodymium magnet, you've got one wall here. Um, and if I put these two together and let them slam closed, I can actually pop these apart. And nobody, you know, no, no magnet's been pried off. Some of the other reviews, uh, you know, of found that magnets can pop free. I don't think this one can easily pop free because it's actually riveted on here. I use this same kind of magnet with a screw, you know, to hold tools to a wall. But the big problem with this thing, um, you know, it's got a nice solid shaft. It's got a rubberized handle, you know, nothing there. But this is it's got one wall and that wall is pretty high compared to, you know, if we, we look at how this stacks up to um, the OTC. So what happens is if you grab it, this wall can actually hit a bolt on the edge and you see there's a gap there. And some bolts, it's even more prominent if they're pretty short, look at that, which means this doesn't really grab it very well. You know, it's, it's off kilter. I'd have to slide it out and try to center it. Um, it's a small thing, um, but also then, you see how it just spins free off of it versus this? This one, the OTC, if I grab it, see that it starts to bind up because there's so much force. Um, obviously, you don't need a lot of force, but this really doesn't offer, you know, much force unless that screw is re or that bolt is really loose. I can just spin this around without, without a whole lot of work here. Um, other bolts, it can pop. I mean, it just. See how that just slides around? I'm barely holding this thing. Um, so, you know, it's it's a cheap version. Is it worthless? No. Is it worth buying the better one? Yes. I totally think so. Um, you know, if you're, if you're not sure if you want to use a tool like this, the problem with buying a cheap one is you're probably not going to get the right experience. You might go up to try to release a valve or release something, and maybe you're trying to turn it, and then this thing you know, just doesn't. This one's actually grabbing pretty good on this flat one, low, flat low bolt. So there, if you got that one, maybe it'll work better. Others, you know, it just spins. Um, there's not a lot of force you can put on it. So anyway, uh, this one right now on Amazon, six, $6. It might get you started, but it's really not, not worth it. If you're gonna do very many oil changes, get this one, get a little bit better, higher quality one. You know, so you enjoy it. It works great. Um, and then get to changing oil. With that, dock out.